Major developments tonight in a story we brought you last month about a delayed landfill project that's had angry taxpayers demanding an investigation. It seems, well, now they've got one. The Fox 5 team confirming today the FBI is now investigating a Lamar County Recycling Center that's cost more than $20 million with still no machines operating. Fox 5 I team reporter Johnny Edwards has been tracking the money and was in Barnesville last night when the investigation came up in a public meeting, Johnny. And that's right, Courtney. Tensions in tiny Lamar County have been running high for months. A concerned citizens group publicly lambasting the county's landfill authority over a waste of fuel project, one that was originally supposed to be up and running in 2017. While the county's elected leaders are still deciding whether to conduct their own investigation, last night a commissioner announced the feds have beat them to it. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. A county landfill, a vision to turn trash into fuel, along with byproducts that can be used in plastics and cement. A $27.5 million loan from the state to make that vision a reality. We have these two here. But almost a decade later, still no machines operating and not a dime in any waste of fuel revenue. And while the Fox 5 I team has reported that some of that loan money flowed back to the man promoting the project, Landfill Authority Executive Director Johnny Poor, the county commission has so far delayed voting for what these concerned citizens demand. A full audit. If you just be truthful about what's going on. It's been enough to make some taxpayers in Lamar County livid. We trusted them, and now that trust is gone. During a county commission meeting this week, one elected official dropped a bombshell. He's been talking to the feds for months. Commissioner Gillis and I contacted the agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation who interviewed us in September regarding the Solid Waste Authority. Although records she and I gathered prior to our September board meeting remain under Department of Justice subpoena and therefore are not eligible for open records disclosure, we are allowed to acknowledge receipt of the subpoena from the United States District Court for the Middle District of Georgia. If that sounds a little convoluted, the Fox 5 I team got a straight answer the next day. A spokesman for the FBI confirmed the agency has launched an investigation into the stalled waste of fuel project at the Lamar County Landfill. Oddly, this seems to be news to the folks over at the Landfill Authority, whose attorney has filed a lawsuit against the two commissioners and the county attorney, partly to find out if they had any proof of any FBI involvement. A written statement to the I-Team by the Landfill Authority's attorney said, the authority has not been contacted by any federal or state law enforcement body regarding any investigation of anyone related to the authority. Of course, the authority would cooperate with any such investigation of it or anyone else related to its business. Here's the chairwoman of the Solid Waste Authority, County Commissioner Nancy Thrash, after her colleague's public statement. Can you tell us what your reaction is to that? I don't have any knowledge of that. I don't have any confirmation, so I don't have any further comment. So there's been, there's been no contact by the FBI? I don't have any further comment. What do you hope will come out of this FBI investigation? Truth. Truth is all we seek, all we've ever seeked. Now, during that same public meeting, the county commission chairman, Ryron Trailer, gave the concerned citizens a talking to, saying that all the bickering in the community could have a negative effect on economic development. He also said, let the FBI do what the FBI does, investigate. Some of the concerned citizens told us afterwards they didn't appreciate his public scolding. Tom, Courtney? Yeah, with almost $30 million of that loan invested into this project, mm -hmm. has there been any progress since your last reporting on this, on getting this up and running? Uh, no. Uh, Johnny Poor, the authority's executive director, told us when we interviewed him last month that he expected the entire project to be finished by this summer, and the first phase, these leachate evaporators, would be running by New Year's. That has not happened, mm -hmm. and I am told that is because the authority still just got its EPD permit, and it has it takes a little bit of time for that to take 
take effect. So, no, nothing's happened out there, but hopefully when it does, we'll be there to cover it. And the chairwoman of the uh, Waste Authority not confirming or denying that the FBI has been in contact with him, just saying no comment. Well, I have to assume she was caught a little bit off guard because I don't, I don't believe that they thought there was an investigation going on. In fact, that lawsuit has to do with trying to get them to produce proof of this investigation that's been floating around the community through rumors and innuendo. So it's a yeah. very strange situation. Clearly, people want some answers in this. Yeah. It's good that you're asking the questions. Well, we want answers, too. Yeah. Thanks, Johnny. Right. Thank you. Johnny, thanks. Coming up.